how much we appreciate the veterans for being here with us. And to be able to stand in front of a veteran and look him eye to eye and face to face is a privilege and an honor. Too many of them never made it home. So we want them to know that we truly appreciate their appearance with us today and we give them honor. And with that, I'd like you, if you would, please bow your heads for just a moment. Heavenly Father, we're so thankful, Lord, that your presence is with us. Thank you, Jesus, that we have come together, Father, not as a funeral, Lord, not as a memorial, but as a homeboy service. To send Charles Ray Kenny off in style, Father, that he so righteously deserves. And we give you praise and honor and glory, Father, that we have that opportunity. And we ask you to bless the family today, Father. Bless the veterans and each one that's here and the families that they represent, Lord. We ask you to have your hand upon them. In the mighty name of Jesus, we ask these things. Amen. We thank Lonnie for what he's put together here. I think he's did an awesome job. We're gathered here today with family and friends in honor and in memory of the Charles Ray Kenny Jr. Together not to say goodbye, but rather to say until we meet again. We come together to find closure of a life that will be well remembered and loved. And we can be friends and believe in them from our daily lives, but not from our hearts and memories. For God has given us our memories to hold on to. Memories of not sickness and pain in his latter days, but memories of joy and laughter that came so easy from his lips in his younger years. It seems like as we get older, when we think of someone passing on, our mind and hearts automatically go to their younger days. And I think that's a privilege and an honor that the Lord has given each one of us. When I was called and asked to say a few words for the children, I suddenly began to hear the words, he's home. And I realized in my Holy Spirit that the Father was telling me Charles Ray Kinney had made it home. Now I'm not talking about a regular home, but I'm speaking of a heavenly home where the soul of man never dies. A home that we should all look forward to entering in. In Matthew 11, 28, we find the comforting words. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lonely in heart. And ye shall find rest unto your souls, for my yoke is easy and my burden light. By just receiving the Lord Jesus into our hearts and repenting of wrongdoings and our sins and accepting him as our Savior, we are given this heavenly promise. For in John 3, 16, it says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. I remember as a young man, Charles and Gerald and them all went to church and none of them seemed to mind going to church. They went to the father's house with their mother. I thought of how when Charlie entered heaven gates, the joy that was in the heart of his mother. I implore you today even to receive this loving Savior to your life. Allow him to ease your pain for he is faithful that has promised that we should cast our care upon him for he careth for us. We honor Charles for his service today as a Marine in the United States Marine Corps. The motto for the Marine Corps is Semper Fidelis, which means always faithful. Until 1871, it was called First to Fight. That motto is still alive today. And with this, we bid Charles farewell until we meet again. And to the loving care of Semper Fidelis, we are called to always be found faithful. Semper Fidelis falls right here. We are assembled here to pay a lasting tribute and respect to our departed comrades. In the call of our country, we serve Comrade Kenny Anthony. We also protect him because of the greater good. The brave man who marched away with his body of faith in God, his country, and his flag. The red of our country's flag was made red or still by his heroes. The white was seamlessly secure by the motives of the building. In the starry field of our nation's glorious banner, Blue has been glorified by the service we gave for American ideas. Let's pray. Almighty and merciful God, Father of us all, the mystery of the of the dead we see thy hand. In the depths of our sorrow, we realize the truth of the inspired word. I am the resurrection and life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. As comrade after comrade departs, we march on with the ranks of going sinners. Help us to be faithful in the needs of one another. We beseech thee, look in mercy upon all of us who support our own sinners. Go and comfort those who are needed by the Holy Spirit. Give us all joy. 